All right, look, I'm no level two know-it-all that knows every single trick and tips and mix up and whatnot. But what I do know is that I steal setups. I'm giving give you this information and you're gonna steal it and you're gonna abuse it. What am I talking about? Well, you know, I kind of have two setups to show you guys, and I think I'm gonna cover the mid-screen one because it actually is a corner one and a mid-screen one. And I figured you guys want another mid-screen one because mid-screen, it's a little bit iffy only because, you know, you don't have the crazy, crazy uh, guy like safe jump, but you still have some safe jumps with her. So I'm just show it to you guys and I'm gonna break it down step by step. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, yo, Jack, that, that's, that's nothing. But basically what this is, whenever that situation happens, right here exactly where, you know, Chun-Li is dropping and everything like that, you may notice a fireball is gonna hit Meaty. Now you're thinking to yourself, oh boy, they can just perfect pay or they can DP and whatnot and all this stuff. Well, not exactly. See what I had there? I inputted parry, but I actually put a drive rush, funny enough. So what this setup does is actually is kind of an OS. So for example, if you just decided to, oh, I'm just dash up. You are actually still safe. So if you choose to dash up and not burn anything, uh, that's perfectly fine. But if you add in parry or uh, drive rush to the mix, basically what happens is that if they DP, the parry will happen and you won't get drive rush. So you actually can get a full on punish. But if they block it, you actually get drive rush to get more pressure. You actually get carry them more to the corner. And even on hit, it works. So for example, if I actually show just Chun-Li not even blocking. You actually get a full on combo. Now granted, it is a bit scaled because of the firewall, but you still get a combo which leads to corner carry, which leads potentially to another safe jump. Because for example, you can actually do something like this. and the loop starts all over again. So you actually can, you know, cook up a little something with this. Here's where I actually get a little bit interesting. A lot of this tend to be from a light Kickstarter into forward uh, medium punch to uh, low forward, forward heavy punch into back heavy punch, or back heavy kick, sorry. And what I actually realized is that you actually don't even need a light kick. So for example, let's just say you get a clean hit and you do this. Setup still works. So honestly, you actually do not need a legitimate like it. You can actually do this setup from like a clean hit. And as you can see, I just carry Chun Li to the corner, the straight corner corner. This setup actually does not require the light kick, but you do probably want to make sure this, the forward medium punch into uh, crutch medium kick actually hits just to make sure because, you know, it's just a rhythm thing, but at least you're doing a medium starter over a light starter. I would definitely recommend trying to do something like that. Yeah, this setup is actually pretty cool because it actually just beats out a lot of options. I mean, bro, I can actually just have Chun-Li, for example. It actually beats just pretty much almost any super except for grab supers. Because grab supers obviously, you know, they grab you. But I would say mess with this a good amount because this is actually quite nice. And I want to give a shout out to the homie Chico and also Whis from, um, I believe, the UAE. Chico told me about the setup, which he learned from Whis. So I'm going to give much love to Whis and everything like that. So he was a former, uh, he still is a jury player, but he actually was in Gamers 8 uh, last year. And so he showed off some jury really nice. Uh, Really nice guy and everything like that so i'm gonna give their twitter links in the description please follow them they're really good jury players but yeah this setup is really good i think i may be stealing it a lot and i recommend you do too because if it's from any hits you can just do this into a setup it's quite nice even if you think all oh, parry will beat it like perfect parry perfect parry is a bit interesting if you think that hard about it, like oh they're gonna try and perfect parry for it here's what happens if you try to perfect parry after the first hit so
if you just input throw, you actually punish them from doing anything. So, for example, if I have Chun-Ling just uh, jab, load it right afterwards. She cannot jab. It, this is actually like a very crazy mind game about it. And I do believe that you can actually probably press a button in between. Right here. Yeah, you can actually do a jab yourself. Um, just be mindful that it loses to tap perfect parry. But, you know, if they tap parry and they mess it up, you're still fine. But yeah, this setup is so cool. It's actually so awesome. And I'm probably going to steal it. <laughs> I'm definitely going to use it a lot. Uh, so I would recommend definitely using that. All right. Now we're going to talk about another setup that I'm probably going to steal. Now, you guys all know the typical jury. Uh, this into safe jump into, you know, whatever into God knows what. Now, what if I told you, right? There's a setup where she's two plus and you can actually pump fake what you're doing. Now this is a safe jump, as you can see, it's plus 48. So it's definitely a lot of time for safe jump. With this type of safe jump right here, the normal one, you're plus enough to actually get a button. So that way it actually hits them just as they're getting up. With this one, you're a bit too much plus where you actually can't do that. You have to like actually manually time this, like actually like time time it. So if you want to get the safe jump, you gotta be mindful when you're doing it because you can kind of get it, but not really. So for example, you can like slightly delay a jump, but you know, that may be safe jump ish. It all depends. I think this is where it kind of gets tricky is that you can actually even delay even further and you can actually just fool people into holding parry. It is a little bit difficult to time because you got to delay it. But as you can see, you actually get a double overhead. So this setup, I think is pretty nice because if safe jumps normally in a corner, most people tend to go with one or two options. Either it's uh, parry or just hold it. Typically, most people, uh, I would say parry because, you know, if you get a perfect parry, it's only she's only negative two. But the situation is still in your favor of who perfect parried it. If it's actually not a perfect parry, it's still like a normal parry. So it's still like, you know, somewhat of a guess, but it's not as bad because you're getting uh, a resource. But this one is generally a game of like, is that a safe jump or not? Because she's doing another jump. Normally with her regular safe jumps, it's simply just this and you know she's in front, like she can't jump anymore. With this one, it could be an odd jump. Having throwing it in a little mixture of timing can throw off the opponent for sure because even I think it's jury players will still be effective because you know you're a human you can only guess so much the way to do this is that typically you want to do uh, your mediums or whatever and you actually want to end with a uh, crutch heavy punch and uh, launcher into jump light kick jump medium kick heavy punch heavy kick it's really just as simple as that as long as you don't one two three four so uh, the setup is, uh, once you get the rhythm of it, I think it's perfectly good. And you can set up a bunch of stuff. So for example, you can actually even noose jump with this. You can literally just noose jump with it. It does not matter what you do. I'm pretty sure you can noose jump with other safe jumps, but this one. You can go low, you can do a bunch of stuff. You can, it's all like up to you. So I definitely think this setup is quite nice. Um, if you want to try, by all means, steal the tech for yourself. You know, I'm just a messenger of telling you guys the tech. A lot of you will use this tech not for the greater good and rob people. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to rob people, all right? But if you like this video about tech, uh, about the jury uh, level two tech, about interesting stuff, let me know. Um, and make sure to subscribe as always and you know comment down what you think of this do you think i'm stupid or do you think that it's actually got like tech but yeah as always hopefully you guys have a good day and i'll see you guys in the next video peace